Both sides have now rested in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York. Closing arguments are set for after the Memorial Day weekend with deliberations likely to begin the following day. Michael George has more from outside the courthouse. Former President Donald Trump did not testify during his criminal trial, but had plenty to say in the hallway outside the courtroom where he's not under oath after his defense team rested its case. Very good. I think uh, we have a, a great case was put on. There is no crime. Tuesday, the defense's primary witness, lawyer Robert Costello, faced cross-examination. The defense had called the one-time advisor to Michael Cohen to refute the testimony of the prosecution's star witness. The defense, and I know I always say this, but has a very, very different role than the prosecution. It's trying to push down one beam in that house so that one juror says, I, maybe he did it, but not beyond a reasonable doubt. Earlier in the trial, Cohen testified that Trump knew about an illegal scheme to falsify business records related to the $130,000 payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. The money was to keep her quiet about an alleged sexual encounter ahead of the 2016 election. Trump denies the encounter. Costello testified Monday that Cohen told him Trump knew nothing about those payments. Closing arguments usually begin immediately after the defense rests, but because of the upcoming holiday weekend, the judge pushed the proceedings until next week. Closing arguments are set for Tuesday, with jury instructions and then deliberations expected to begin the next day. Michael George, CBS News, New York.